So today, I'm actually um, getting my uh, driver's license to drive manual, which is what I drive every day. Um, kind of shit with my left hand, right hand, while videotaping, while driving. I should show this to them. Um, there is no cars, as you can see. I'm perfectly safe. Give you an idea. In Japan, there is very few cars on the road where I live. I live in rural Japan. So um, it's rather uh, an in-depth process. And actually, if you Google Japan driver's license, there's a great PDF that comes up, you know, uh, that talks about all aspects of Japanese driving, the law, and everything else. Really well done, whoever did it. Uh, you know, kudos to them. Maybe I'll put a link in this video. But um, there's so much little nuances to what you have to do. It's, it's you know, it's, it's not that easy. One of the things that you have to do is pump your brakes. How many people pump their brakes when they stop? It's really an awkward. You get this jagging, you know, pumping your, you know, brakes. Um, it's one of those things I'm gonna have to try to do. I'm gonna actually practice as I'm driving here. I always get lost trying to get to this driver's school. It's so out of the, out of the way. So I'm like driving these little roads trying to get there. <laughs> these little roads. I'm on here. And there's a driving school right there. Here is actually the course that I'm going to be driving. So this is a straightaway here. I got to get up to like 40 miles per hour. Turns, there are lights. Right there. And there's uh, the school, the cars. There's a guy in it. There is our guy in it. The, Course. So the first thing you have to do is to the office. They're going to take the paperwork. This is the paperwork. You got this, this, this. You got to have a picture too. So this is the course, but he like did this notation here, which is here. I guess I'm going up here. I don't know what this means. But I'm not doing this. This is going straight here. It looks like I go up. I have no idea what this is. But this is the course I'm doing. I come here, I go, I grab, I gotta hit 30 here. Then I gotta go around here, and I gotta hit 50 here on this back stretch, hugging the left side. Then I gotta slow to this obstacle, all right? Go around it, okay? And then I take the inside lane here, all right? For the right turn. And then here, I'm gonna make a right turn here. I gotta slow down here, start indicating. Slow down, hit this, start indicating here. Okay, uh, make a right turn, slow. I don't think these are stops, I think these are slows here. Slow, slow down, slow down. Then I'm gonna turn and make a right turn, so I start indicating here. So, so it tells you where actually the uh, lane change. I go through this and I lane change. I go through this and then I lane change, okay, here, we go around and do this S curve, come around, remember this, we go straight, indicate left, and then I get, this is the box, this is that box thing, it's really tight, you gotta hug the left side and then the right side, and I think I indicate every time. I don't know if I indicate or not on the box turn. Can't remember to read really pick that up. And I get straight, and go up around here. I go up. I don't understand this here. Ask the woman, she's like, go over there, ask them. 
so she didn't want to answer my question at all. So this is a three-point turn. I go up here, I back in, and I come out. So there's a little entrance there. I go up. I don't think I go into the freeway there. I think I stop, I back in. That's what I'm going to guess. If I'm going to mess up, it's going to be there. So let's go. All right. I start here. I pull out. I go all the way around on the inside. Avoid the obstacle. Speed up to 30. Okay. Slow down. Pumping the brake. All right. Um, coming around. Slow down. Indicate. Look back. Avoid the obstacle. All right. Coming here. Slow down. Um, slow down here. Go straight. Pass the intersection. Change lanes. Indicate. Start indicating here. Indicate. Pass the intersection. Change lane. Go down. Left. First one's the second one. Second one here. Go around. Go straight, straight, straight. Pass here. Go up. Pass the intersection. Turn left. Second turn. So I'm outside now, waiting to get this car, like a Japanese taxi. And um, I still have like an hour, 30 minutes. minutes. This is that guy, kind of animated. I hope he's my, I think he's our driver, instructor maybe. But um, I learned a few things in there. Uh, this is guy, our driver, instructor. This guy looks me. Well, I failed my test. <laughs> First thing is the map is really confusing. And um, I wonder if they're gonna have the same map. Hopefully it will be the same one. They keep changing on me, it's gonna suck. And um, I drove, I did drive close enough to the side. I stopped over the, uh, the white line here. There's a little stop white line. 
and then I was so nervous that when I made another turn, I pretty much uh, went to the right hand side of the road. I completely lost it by then. So, but anyway, the guy was really nice. So uh, he said, apart from that, he did fine. The clutch worker was fine. The other thing too is um, I, um, you know, basically brake and um, and then clutch down when you start feeling the engine step sammer a little bit. But it's a little harder. I'm used to, uh, you know, the car, the taxi has that big old front and I'm used to being able to see the line right in front of me. So anyway. So I've signed up for two more days. The 21st, today's the 19th. So I'm gonna come again in the morning. Now the other thing that got me is these little poles, which are little PVC little pipes that are white. So it's like, I pat when I parked the car, I parked past it. I didn't even see it there. So that's important to really look when you're taking your test. Well, <laughs> can't remember how many times it took me to pass the automatic one. I think it did take me a couple times.